my PAW family. How are you? I am still on vacation, but you know what? I have traveled back to 1903. I am on the set of the great train memory of film we talked about in our Tuesday trivia class. So um, the great train memory was filmed at Edison Studios, which was um, owned by the inventor Thomas Edison. And Thomas Edison, even though he owned the studio, he wasn't involved in the day-to-day -day operations that were his assistant, William Gilmore, or William Dixon, who was one of the inventors of the first camera, the Kentograph. Okay, and Edison had several studios that he ran for between 1894 and 1918, but his main studio, Edison Studios, were located in the Bronx in New York. So, I had to have warm up, because you know I always like to warm up. I do have warm up, we're actually going to watch the great American, the great train robbery. Um, a couple of fun facts about that is that nobody received a credit for it. You know, usually at the end of the movie, they run credits. No one, none of the actors, directors, nobody got credit. Their credits, uh, none of them had credit for it. And the movie was directed by Edwin S. Porter. So again, we're going to warm up, move and groove, you know, I all that, 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 everything, moving and grooving, and we're actually going to watch the film as part of class today, and um, I hope you enjoy it. to watch the great train robbery and um, then we'll talk about it afterward, okay? So let's go to the movies.
right, guys, what did you think? Did you enjoy that? It was really, I think it was really cool to watch. One of the things that I really noticed um, as a director is that there were no close-up shots. And what's really cool about seeing that film, guys, is we're seeing the early wave of film when the art of filmmaking was still developing. People were just figuring out what this moving picture was for the art of filmmaking, the art of special effects. Those are all art forms that had to develop through trial and error and through practicing and developing skills. So that's one thing I really love about watching that film. Um, I'm going to give you that for Monday. We're not only going to talk about this film and talk a little bit about tomorrow's assignment, which I get tomorrow. But Monday, we're going to do little short film snippets in class. We're gonna, you're going to take an improv and do a little short scene in silence. So it'll be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to doing it and sharing that with you. I'll talk in more detail about it tomorrow. So um, thank you for joining me today. And I will see you tomorrow. But you know, I always end the way it begin. So let's end up with the moving and grooving to some more silent film music. And um, let's do that. Here you go.